ourselves in the midst of uh, a new exhibition uh, at uh, Kunsthalle. Um, the show borrows a um, historical uh, title, uh, Pharmacopoeia, uh, which um, literally means an atlas or lexicon or a repository of certain information relating to uh, medical substances, uh, pharmaceutical substances, uh, drugs. Uh, and in this respect, uh, or in relation to uh, the project of uh, Sasha White and Aneta Monakisha, uh, who uh, collectively uh, formulated and created this project, uh, we speak mainly uh, about the lexicon of forms of representation relating to the medium of photography uh, throughout its historical development. Starting really at the very beginnings, uh, heading towards the current state of uh, visual representation or uh, reality formation or world building through images uh, or representational uh, material. And uh, this historical timeline uh, is presented here in a very abstract form, uh, nevertheless uh, using a very specific uh, materials, uh, elements and substances relating to uh, historical processes uh, of like physically creating uh, photography. Uh, photography mm, during the course of time developed uh, to from I don't know uh, representation on uh, metal plates uh, through paper to the digital uh, here we are basically skipping most of these elements uh, the chemical nature of the process of uh, developing a photography is uh, being applied directly on walls of the space, therefore creating kind of an environment uh, where everything is slightly shifted and uh, uh, represented in a way which is not conventional uh, in relation to the medium. And uh, what's happening here is an ongoing process of transformation of the space uh, through these chemical processes and uh, creation of some kind of time imprint. And uh, we are living in, a, in very uh, challenging times and uh, without a doubt uh, this also, all which is happening at this point is leaving its imprint or mark on the, on the whole uh, situation here in the space. Maybe Sashi, can you, talk a bit about, uh, about uh, substances you used or about the combination of various elements uh, coming in and creating the project from light, filters, uh, digital screens, chemicals. Yeah, yeah like it's maybe it, it, it looks somehow very enclosed, very um, somehow uh, I would say maybe even academic or something like the whole exposition so but it's uh, in, a, in a way it is immersive space that we try to create uh, where um, somehow find some kind of analogy to what is actually happening when we are in a real, I don't know, situation of uh, image making, meaning like uh, I'm really talking here about the dark rooms circumstances or conditions. And um, somehow the, the referential point was, uh, was uh, were photograms which are here uh, displayed on the monitors uh, which, um, which already are representing some kind of abstraction uh, in, the, in this kind of like um, uh, bringing to light some information or reality, uh, where basically the black uh, surface is something that was exposed to the light, to certain kind of situation, and the latent image is there preserved, it's contained, but we cannot see it. And uh, so this was just a, one step further, which we see what we see now on the wall. We took this very analog uh, process, photographic process based on uh, the oldest form of paper that is produced. And um, we started to think of histology of these units. Uh, what is the cross section of the paper? Uh, because suddenly we 
saw, started to see the paper as a flat sculpture, not anymore as a, something that it's mimicking. It has this mimetic kind of character. So we then said, okay, so fine, let's, let's, let's use all these chemicals, like, let's lose all those substances and let them be, become visible. So this was like uh, one of the things. So it's in a way, it's uh, topography, it's uh, atomization of, of, this, uh, of these chemicals. It's, um, um, yeah, and, and we, had to, we had to come up with some kind of system. We didn't wanna just do some kind of aesthetic thing even though it might look, it's um, some kind of like aesthetic curve, but this curve is actually re re referring to something very uh, concrete. And it's, uh, it's there, are, there are six curves uh, describing, characterizing different photographic material, material that it's uh, differently uh, sensitive to the light uh, from 300 to 700 nanometers. And uh, we took all those curves and we basically put them into one curve and we took only where they're cross-secting, where, they where, where it comes to the cross-section of all of them. And this is what it's actually here now visible. We just use this form then uh, to actually fill in the surfaces. But we are talking here about like all the historical processes. So, so in a way it's also archeology span of all these things. And um, which is then of course being connected to the, to the reality. And also we were thinking of of, of all those layers in the history as kind of sediments, sedimentation. This is something which we see when we are um, <coughs> dissecting the rock or, and then we can observe the different layers. We can detect from the different layer what actually happened at that certain kind of period. And this was also something that we wanted to kind of like draw a kind of analogy to it. Um, yeah. But if you would, uh, if you would uh, be to describe the singular elements here like so we spoke about the mural but then and the photograms uh, but then what about the rock formation or like a metaphor of a yeah. cave or uh, as i said like i think this is something that we wanted to somehow also connect you know it's it's connected to the to the real sediments to the real sedimentation mm -hmm. when we have some kind of like i don't know concrete geomorphological structure and we do a section through it, we can see how layers were just laying and what kind of characters uh, each layer has, mm. colors to material to everything. And this is something that we wanted to connect yeah, together. Mm. And then as well, if we are talking about the filters, the filters are uh, kind of like as, as, uh, as uh, how would I say, um, uh, as close as, they are really in use in uh, darkroom conditions or not only darkroom conditions, but for the black and white uh, material um, because the different filters are differently uh, letting through the light and affecting then the um, uh, photo emulsion. So they, therefore, like also the film has a different contrast and stuff mm. like this. And so this is something that we wanted to um, uh, also recreate in a space, mm. but then also they work on their own, yeah. So there are also these monochromatic surfaces that have some kind of rhythm and they can also be viewed as an individual work, basically. Okay, maybe the last question uh, relating to the interest in uh, complete abstraction of, uh, of photographic representation uh, or depiction, uh, like taking into account the current um, mm, media reality and uh, the importance of image in uh, representation of politics, ideology, uh, dialogue between opposing sides or a lack of dialogue, maybe rather. Yeah. Uh, then you actually erase all the realistic depictions and you just go into pure abstraction. So what does this process uh, actually mean? Yeah, I think we are oversaturated with images. You know, it's like, it's really proliferation of acceleration of visual uh, information and we are becoming numb and we are also becoming ignorant. And uh, I think ignorance is in a way also right to this point, right to the point because it also becomes some, uh, it also means some kind of self-preservation, yeah. And uh, I thought, uh, and that's why I went to these photograms because the photograms 
started really to act um, as complete abstraction where maybe someone, a uh, viewer, it's actually finding more, more information in it than, uh, than if I would put next to it, I don't know, concrete image of some kind of real situation because we are so doubtful. We are, we are already injected by disbelief, uh, by all the conspiracy, so we even don't believe into the most authentic image anymore, yeah? So I wanted to, this is somehow, it is symptomatic, it is reactionary, and um, and maybe also this whole painting now, it's kind of a nice moment when, uh, what you said in the beginning, there it's, it keeps on exposing, yeah? So it has this kind of like, really imaginary, fictional kind of level to it, which I think this, uh, it's an important when you create something that mm. it triggers also the imaginative, Potential. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.